Hello and welcome. Today I'm gonna tell you more about Secure Settings plugin. You probably come across already the situation when you wanted to toggle something and the tasker either didn't have an option for it or the option was not available. This is mostly connected to a root permission on your device. You don't need to be rooted to be using Tasker, however to have extensive control over your device it is advisable to root your phone. Before we start using this plugin we need to go and set it up correctly to enable extensive control. Some options and toggles won't be available until you do so. First thing you want to do is go to System Plus and enable it. You have to be rooted and Super User must be installed on your phone in order to get this done. This will grant secure settings root permission and execute root commands on your phone as well. After completing this, another step to take is go to Preferences and enable Device Administrator. You can also enable leg legacy settings features on your tasker, however you have to be a little bit more experienced to use these features. If some of the options are greyed out on your device, it is quite possible that you've not checked those details here. A viable options to switch and toggles can be checked in the options menu and you can quickly reference what option is available to your device. Users on Lollipop Android system, be aware that not all the options may work for you as this has been created mainly for the KitKat. Secure settings allowed us to be used as a condition trigger. We can choose one of the following five conditions. Although self-explanatory, I'll go over a few of them. Google Now shortcut allows us to replace default Google Now action and use it as a trigger event. This means we can use this gesture to trigger events in Tetasca. Another secret option would be using code to enable additional tasks or to enable or disable modes. It allows us to input secret code in the dialer to activate it. You can also monitor the device settings and use them as a trigger or pass them as a variable to the tasker creations. You will notice that some of them are available in a tasker already, however secure settings is designed for more application than just tasker. Now since we've got a brief idea how to use the secure settings as a condition in our profiles, let's have a look how to use the secure settings as a task. You'll find this option available in the plugin settings and you'll be given a lot of different options to choose from. Most of them are toggles, so you enable or disable a certain feature on your device that is not available through the tasker or is simply requiring root permissions. The one I want to point out is device settings. It allows you to browse system settings on your device. You can find the settings that wouldn't be usually present on your device alone. This can be anything from enabling and disabling camera sounds to high sensitivity to enable touching your device with the gloves. However, be extra careful when using those options as some of them can mess up your device quite badly. I was able to enable higher sensitivity on my LG device despite this function not being present. However, I have access to these settings on my tablet. So if you are unable to find some of the settings you wish to change, you might want to have a look in here. Another option is launch activity that allows you to launch application. However, the trick is we get to choose a screen we want to load. After selecting an app to be used with secure settings, we get to choose which screen we want to load. This section suffers a bit on the mobiles as not entire command line is visible and I was helping myself with a tablet to check which settings are corresponding to what. I was able to load most of the screens available in applications, however sometimes I'm let down by this as for example I was not able to launch YouTube subscription page directly. I think this is something I have to wait for the intents. Your typical toggles have three options, on, off and toggle and are applicable to pretty much all of the settings there. Nice additions are warning settings that will point you in the right direction or will warn you about enabling something that could possibly lock your device. So please make sure you read all the warnings before applying any settings. As you can see here, you can run Linux command and retrieve the output and pass it over to the tasker as well. Another useful option is to wake your device 
This allows you to wake your device for short amount of time when you need any sensors to be activated. Tasker usually doesn't monitor some of the sensors unless the screen is on. So if you want your light value readouts, this is way to go. You can also start monitor certain settings and use them for profiles. Device admin actions allow you to lock or disable certain features like camera or lock screen and accessibility options. This will allow greater security on your phone, especially when you're lending a device to someone. Another set of actions are System Plus actions that require installation, the System Plus that I showed you before. So if they are greyed out for you, you must ensure that has been installed correctly. Most of them, as well as root action listed below, they require root permission in order to be switched on and off on your device. These options are self-explanatory and consist mostly toggles. With the recent updates to Lollipop, many of them may not be working correctly as some old tricks are not working on the latest installation of the Android version. Last two tabs are related to the type of the ROM you've got installed. You can toggle ROM specific settings that are available from the developers like extended desktop and similar. In addition to that, you also have access to exposed framework settings if you've got exposed module installed. Typical use of the secure settings in task would consist in editing a plugin, providing the value of the settings you wish to change, and then saving the information using the button above. That should give you a task using a secure settings. So when I will use secure settings? Well, each time you want to change anything on our device that possibly would require root permission, secure settings come in play. You can use secure settings to bypass some of the auto input entries to simply launch the application in a desired state. But the most popular use is to refine what is enabled and what is then disabled on your device as Secure Settings allows you to control every single settings on the phone, providing you are rooted and, well, you're not on the Lollipop device. If you like to play with Tasker and you're not rooted yet, consider rooting your device. Rooting your phones is not as risky as it used to be and hardly ends with a bricked phone providing you read information before rooting. Also, very often it's the case when the root isn't permanent and you can restore the device to factory settings for warranty repairs. So I hope you know how to use secure settings a little bit more efficiently now. As always, like the video if you found it useful, leave me a comment if you've got anything to say underneath the video and I'm gonna see you in the next episode, providing you subscribed already to my channel. Bye!